Hello, my lovelies, and welcome to my channel. My name is Moon, and today we're talking about the mini Papillon pouch from Louis Vuitton. This is in the monogram print, and this is definitely a vintage item. I purchased it three or four years ago, pre-loved from Tradez, and it is a sentimental piece in my collection because this is the very first Louis Vuitton item that I ever owned, purchased, bought, sought after. And I got it for a pretty decent price point for Louis Vuitton. It was under $200 US. I believe now it's retailing in the pre-loved market for $500. Uh, or thereabouts, give or take a bit, but you know, it's definitely gone up in price, but it's a sentimental piece because this was the first item, and also because when I started my YouTube review channel, this was the first item that I reviewed. So now, fast forward a couple of years or so, and I wanted to re-review this item from a more informed place, from a place of having purchased a bunch of Louis Vuitton in the meantime, and to kind of go back and talk about, you know, how this item is holding up and various ways you might use it. So uh, stay tuned if you're interested in more about this particular item. So the mini Papillon pouch, let's take a look here at this vintage piece. You can see that the zipper pull there is not in that shiny, shiny gold condition that you would expect of a brand new piece, but still it works really well. The zipper works just fine and the zipper pull still, though tarnished a bit, has the LV logo and is in fairly good condition. So that's good. And then we have this little strap here and this has patinaed. It has this old fashioned clasp on it. And this item is over 20 years old. I forget the exact date. I want to say 1990s or thereabout, late 1990s, somewhere in there. But I will try to check it for you. And I just think it's such a beautiful piece. It measures six inches in width and two inches in depth. And it's got this funky cylindrical shape. I love the LV logo there on the center with that rich piping that has totally patinaed on each side of this mini little bag or pouch. I have attached a little llama charm, which I attached soon after I got this item and it hasn't come off. I just think llamas are cool, they're so cute, and it just seems to match the cuteness of this very mini piece. So this can be used in a variety of different ways. I love having this in my collection. And I will say that lately I haven't actually been using it. It's been sitting in a drawer, but now and again on occasion, I do take it out and use it, but I love having this piece. I love having this piece again because it has that sentimental place in my heart for being the first Louis Vuitton piece and also because there's just something kind of quirky about it and because it is a multi-purpose item you can use it in so many different ways and I don't have anything quite like this. So I guess this little pouch is associated with the uh, Papillon 26 or 30 handbag which you can buy pre-loved now. I don't believe you can still get it from the Louis Vuitton website, though I'm not 100% sure. But my understanding is really, if you want to get it, you can get it at a pretty decent price point on the pre-loved market. I'll say, you know, somewhere between 500 to 1,000 or so US dollars, at least I've seen on Fashion File. So, you know, you can get that. And this, I guess, would accompany that handbag purchase when you could actually buy the Papillon handbag from the Louis Vuitton website this would be like the mini pouch that came along with the bag so you couldn't purchase this on its own it's sort of like with the Neverfull you can uh, get the pochette with the bag when you purchase online you can't buy the pochette separately unless you go to the pre-loved market same thing with this mini Papillon pouch but I think this little mini piece has gotten a lot of popularity and seems to have gone up in price because it's so cute and because it's so versatile. So you can see right here with this little strap that you could definitely just carry it on the crook of your arm. And 
if you had like a belt loop, you could t unclasp this and attach this like this to your belt. And so there are different ways to wear it. You could also attach a strap extender here. This, you know, on this side doesn't come off, so this will stay on. But I have done that where I attach a strap extender and then I could use it as a shoulder bag or as a crossbody. So again, a lot of different options with this particular piece. So let's take a look at the inside of the bag. You can hear the zipper there really fast, really fluid. It's got this leather lined interior and it does not have the date code on there. I think certain years did have that or maybe certain regions where it was made, but this particular piece does not. I just wanna show you there like the leather lining. It's in great condition. I mean, I just don't see any marks or anything in there. It just looks absolutely beautiful. And I like the feel of this piece. You know, it has sort of like a pebbled feel. And because of the leather interior, there's a toughness to it where some of the other pieces that are fab, fab excuse me, fabric lined are like softer. This has a toughness and it also feels really hard wearing. So it's a great piece to add to your collection, you know, if you're thinking about it. I do love it. I really, really do. I just think it's so cute. So what are some ways you could use this? So the way that I've used this most often is to use this actually as a sunglass case. I don't think everybody's sunglasses would fit in here, but I have these cute cat eye sunglasses, which I got a few years ago, and they are prescription. I keep updating the prescription and hanging on to these. I just think they're adorable. And if I just go like this, it fits right in to this particular pouch. It's really comfortable, and it zips in. So, I mean, that's just a great way to use this. If you have a comfortable pair of sunglasses that aren't, like, oversized, those should fit in there just fine. So, you know, this, like, just to give you a sense of the size here with these sunglasses, I love using this as a sunglass pouch. A second way you might use this particular item is as a tech pouch. So I have all these like messy wires. I usually use my mini pochette here as a little tech pouch. And for all the wires I have, this works well. But if you just have like two or three wires that you like to carry with you, like for instance, your earbuds, and I usually keep my earbuds in my small round coin purse from Louis Vuitton. I like them to be separate in there, but there are times I'll throw them into my tech pouch as well. You know, it just depends on like what I'm doing and, um, you know, what's happening. But I'm just going to go through and just quickly tidy up this little earbud situation. So that goes in there like that. And then let's say if I wanted to take one of the chargers that I could attach to my computer here, use to uh, charge my iPhone, I might put that in there. And then maybe this little like translator piece. I put this on the side of my MacBook Air so then I could attach chargers in there, this adapter. So maybe just those three are like my main ones. The other ones I don't use as often. So there you go. This fits all my tech stuff really, really comfortably and I have a cute little Louis Vuitton tech pouch. So that's a second way you might use this particular item. And it's just so fun. I love using Louis Vuitton pouches for these kinds of things. Uh, another way you might use this particular item is as a wallet. So here's some cash here. I have just some folded up bills. Not very tidy, but you know, put them right in. I have a blank check here, which I like to carry with me in case I need it. And then I'm using these gift cards as a substitute for like credit cards and driver's license to preserve my privacy. And look at that, that fits in there really nice really comfortably. I have more space. If let's say I also wanted to throw in, I have this little tape measure. I wanted to put that into like a wallet pouch. I could add that in there and easily fit a couple of other items. I don't know. I have this like key clay. Let's see if that would fit in there on top of it. 
everything else in there. Well, I can squeeze it in, but now it's made the zipping of it a bit awkward. I can zip it, but the shape of this doesn't look as good. I definitely feel like that's pulling on the zipper. So, you know, you can still, though, your cash, your cards, a couple of bric a brac items, like throw your lip gloss in there, and you could definitely fit and use this as a wallet. Another way you might use this in the age of the pandemic is as a pouch for your COVID, um, you know, safety related items. So I have my hand sanitizer here. This is a pretty big bottle EO and it's lavender scented. I really love this French lavender spray. So I can fit that in there. I've got my hand sanitizer and I have a little mask here. This one actually has a heart on it. So I like this one a lot, those with the heart. And that goes right in there. So I've got my hand sanitizer and a mask, and I can reach for this for those reasons, right? So I've got that in there. So that's another way that you could use it. A fourth way you might use this item. And then a fifth way you might use it is as a pen or pencil case. So this is my Leatherology pen case. I love this. I like the length of it. And if you compare it, to this particular pouch, you can see it's much longer, like a good inch or two there, um, longer in length, but it's much slimmer. If you compare them like this, this is much more compact and that's all I need. I like to carry about three or four pens with me. So these are your regular sized pens and let's see if we can fit them in the Papillon pouch. So I'm gonna start with this one, this big one. And oh, that does go in. It's kind of like snug, as in I can feel it touching both sides of the pouch, but it's not so tight that I can't get it in there or that it's really pushing. Okay, I got that highlighter in there. Here's like a slim pen. That one, I'm struggling to get in there. So this particular pen. And then here is like an erasable pen. I like to use erasable plan pens in my planner. So that does fit in there. So there you go, you've got three pens in there. And let's say I wanted to throw my tape measure in there and a lip gloss. Got those items in there and boom, use it as a cute little like pen case. I mean, you could also easily throw in, I guess, a sharpener and eraser instead of these couple items. And you have a little pen case. And if you have like shorter pens, you know this is six inches, so if you have shorter pens, I think they would work fine. I'm just gonna measure, actually, how long are these pens? We're looking at about five and a half inches. So maybe if your pen is closer to five inches, that would fit in there just fine. And I have used this as a pen pencil case in the past, but just with slightly shorter pens and it works really, really well. So that's another way you might use it. And then finally, a way to use this little mini Papillon pouch would be to use it as a mini handbag. If you're going out and you just need like a quick little bag to dash out. And when I first got this, this was all the Louis Vuitton I had. This was it. You know, now I have my GM Neverfull and my whole collection of 20, 25 items or so. Um, and I love my collection. I love it. I just, I love using these items every single day. day. They make me so happy. But, you know, just in the days when I had this particular item, I wanted on occasion to be able to pop out with it and use it as a handbag, right? So how would I do that? What, well, you'd probably have to combine it with pockets. I think it's really ideal to use this if you're wearing a jacket, if you're wearing jeans, and in your pocket, you can fit in a couple of extra items, but just use this to fit some essentials. So we talked about using this as a wallet. Here we go again with the cards and the cash. So that's gonna fit right in there comfortably. Then I have some lip gloss. So let's say I'm using it that way. Some hand cream in there. And let's say I wanted also like a lipstick shade. I love this Burt's Bees. It's slim, it fits into mini bags really, really well. So I've got that in there and if I try to put my inhaler in there, which is something I would need to carry, so then that I couldn't fit in there. So that would have to go in the pocket. Here are my keys and my six ring key holder. 
Now, that's not going to fit in there, so that would have to go in my pocket. If you have just like a couple of keys dangling, you could fit those in the side there. I think that should work fine. And then, let's say I wanted to take my cell phone. Now, this is the iPhone 7. I currently own the iPhone 11, and I'm using that to record, but I wanted to bring this out and show you that it's really hard to fit your phone in here. So with the case on, this is not going in at all. Now, if I take the case off, of the phone and I just have this and again this is an iPhone 7 it's small can I get that in there well yes I can actually push that in there now it's gonna be hard for me to reach the other items I would need to take my cell phone out to get to the other items but I was able to squeeze it in with all those items and I can zip it up it does feel a little wonky it's not ideal right it's not an ideal situation but it's not really pulling on the zipper where I'm like it's gonna warp the zipper in a bad way but it doesn't look its best I mean I guess I could press it out a bit right you can make it work you could still make it work and actually now as I'm pressing it out I'm thinking okay well there you go I've got my iPhone 7 in there with a few essentials that I need my keys and my inhaler I could keep with me in my pockets but more likely, I would take the cell phone out and I would also keep this in my pocket. So I would need to keep three items here with me in my pocket here. These three right here would have to go with me. And then I could use this as a little mini bag. And if you attach this like as a crossbody, if you lengthen the strap here and uh, it's your hands free with this, then you have your cell phone in your hand, maybe, and a couple of items in your pocket, you know? So you can do other things with this. Now, just to see what else we could add in here. Again, we got the cards cash. We've got hand cream. We've got a couple of lip products in there. Let's see, I'm going out uh, for the night with some friends and I want some mace on me just for protection. I could also easily fit that in there, right? And now I feel ready to go. I've got a bunch of options here with me. Now, I didn't put hand sanitizer in there, so I'm taking out that mace, and there's this bigger bottle of hand sanitizer. Would that fit with all these other items in there? So it looks like I can squeeze that in there. So there you go. Now you're fully set and ready to go. So yes, this can be used as a mini bag, as a very mini bag. But as you see with all these items in there, you could also use this as a makeup pouch. So it's such a versatile item, such a cute item. Uh, cutely shaped item and you know so for that reason again I just love having it in my collection and I've done a comparison video with this and with my mini pochette both of these items are beautiful and uh you know I love them but for my tech pouch this is working really really great because of the shape of this and because I really like using it as a sunglass case that's really my main way of reaching for it when I'm carrying my sunglasses with just a few essentials and uh, I want this in there. I carry my Never Full to Work, sometimes my GM, sometimes my MM, both in the Azure print. And right now this looks a bit empty because I pulled out a bunch of items to show you. So I could put my, uh, my Papillon pouch in the Never Full, but more often than not, because I have an organizer in here, I have slip pockets and I can just slip my sunglasses in there like that. So I don't have a need for the Papillon pouch that way. But what I've realized is even when I'm not using Louis Vuitton items that I own, like these SLGs, I put them in a drawer and I can use them for something else. So for instance, lately, I have a few bottles of these little um, lotions that I buy and I buy like four or five at a time and I'll just keep them in here and store them in here. And so they're in my drawer and when I go to look for my next bottle of lotion when I run out, I can grab it out of here. And I just love like then seeing this item in my drawer. So when you're not using items, I really do recommend just kind of finding a use for them in home to store things where they're still tucked away somewhere, you know, and you don't have to worry about them, but you are able to still enjoy them. 
Anyway, thank you so much for watching my review today of the mini Papillon pouch. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a like and subscribe. I would love to have you follow me. And in the chat, let me know, what do you think of this mini vintage item and its unique cylindrical shape? And what is the most unique SLG in your collection? I love to hear from you and I do my best to respond to every comment. Thank you and have an awesome day.